too hot, hot damn. Call the police and those. How's it going? Fantastic, my brother. Job and it supposed to take me all day. MacGyver at that shit in probably about 20 minutes. Rest of the day, I am chilling like a villain. About to go to the van and watch Hello Ladies on HBO Go. Oh, yeah, but um, actually, I got a leak in my shower. If you don't mind taking a look. Mmm, did you fill out a maintenance request? Um, I've been meaning to. Yeah, man, you gotta start with that, man, because it's, it's a lot that goes into these service calls. You gotta call the leasing office, they gotta call us, and you gotta check if we're available. You're available now. Then they gotta call you, make sure that you're there to open the doors. It's, I'm here now. Then they gotta go through, like, the whole authorization fit. Look, it's complicated, my brother. But next time, I got you. Sure. Okay, because for a second there, it sounded like you were just so anxious to go watch your TV show. Oh, your TV show with no black people in it. Mm -hmm. That you couldn't be bothered to help a brother out in his time of need. But now you explained it. I, I understand. Oh, um, bro, you gonna... You gonna black guilt me like you were, huh? No, 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 no. I'm sure, I'm certain that our forefathers sweat and bled for years in the cotton fields so that one day a brother like you could kick his feet up and get paid to watch TV. You know what, man? You're right, man. I, I probably could take a look. Look at this mess. Bobby, can I see? Every day. What's the problem? What's the problem? Have some respect. That's what's the problem. So you gonna help me out? Hell no, nah, with your judgmental ass, man. Fill out a maintenance request. I was just giving you a hard time with the poor father thing. I'm sure Booker T would be very proud. When I was a kid, making friends was easy. These days, not so much. In the last seven years since moving to LA, I've made two, maybe three friends. I mean, you meet people, you have a few laughs, but it only goes so far. There's a lot of moving parts to pull a friendship together. You getting used to me and my quirks, me getting used to you and your craziness, it's complicated. That's why when friendship happens, real friendship, it always catches me off guard. You want a beer? Um, okay. Her name was Lucky. I was thinking she'd make an interesting character study for my new script, but she turned out to be one very cool, though very conflicted dude. Did you tell them? You didn't tell them. I mean, it's not that easy, okay? I mean, you should have seen my mom's face when I told her I wanted to become a woman full-time. She's never been more proud. I mean, she cried. I mean, she baked me a cake and threw me a party. Oh, and she tweeted about it every step of the way. Hashtag, my brave son. Hashtag, living his truth. I mean, my dad started an Indiegogo campaign to fund my gender reassignment surgery. Oh, I, I didn't realize he planned to. I don't. But there's $30,000 sitting in an escrow account if I ever decide I want to pull the trigger. Or clip the trigger. <laughs> no. I mean, what do I tell them? Hey, remember that day I went to work and you released all those doves into the air to signal the start of my brand new life? Well, I never made it past the alley. Honestly, I just am not ready to share that part of me with the rest of the world. Then why don't you tell them? I've been putting on dresses and makeup since I was six years old. Okay? My parents didn't know what to do with me. I mean, they still don't. I just think, it, for some reason, it was easier for them to wrap their minds around the idea that I was a woman born in the wrong body than actually just a man who likes to feel feminine and free. So, you're willing to sacrifice your penis just to make up for being a difficult child? I mean, I think I'm just gonna leave things as they are for now. Okay. okay. Dual identities. Dude by day, lady by night. Yeah, like Batman. <laughs> Batman? No. No, no. More like Superman. Mm. 
Wonder Woman. Yeah. Wonder Woman? I'm just saying. Oh, my God. It's good. Wonder Woman's good. Wonder <laughs> Woman! <laughs> All right. It's no superhero. I'll take it. You like the twirling, right? Yeah, the twirling would be fun. <laughs> All, right. All right. I'm Wonder Woman. <laughs> Was it worth it though? I think it was worth it. That was definitely the Yeah. Hey, um, let's know if one of those that's Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll let you know next week. Sure, sure. What? <laughs> <laughs> what are we looking at exactly? Just wait. Okay. Is that dude one of your exes? <laughs> what? Who? The black guy. Why is he always giving you dirty looks? Probably just some homophobic douchebag. Is he harassing you? You need me to check his ass? Just ignore him, okay? You are kind of hot, all protective and pissed off like this. Mm. <laughs> Am I really? <laughs> Stop it, I'm trying to be mad. Okay, yours. I'm gonna check his ass. Damn it, Birdo. You saw that, right? I should check his ass. Huh. Yeah. They, they, just because it's the alley does not mean anything goes. You know what I mean? What are you talking about? You got a problem, Holmes? Well, yeah, since you asked, I do have a problem. Berto, no, you already have two strikes, baby. Fuck that. You shouldn't be attacked for your lifestyle. <laughs> now it's a lifestyle. Who I love is none of your business. So unless you want to catch a beatdown, I suggest you keep your homophobic looks to yourself. You thought... <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. No. Those weren't homophobic looks. Those were stop littering looks. What? Yeah. Yeah, you're littering in this alley like every day. Really bad. Me? Homophobic? Psst, no way. I'm friends with a tranny. A tranny? Really? Transvestite. No. Drag queen? I, help me out. Why are you telling them my business anyway? I'm sorry. You're right. Usually when people tell me private information, it, it's on lock. <laughs> Key thrown away. But in this case, you can understand why I let the cat out of the bag a little bit. I mean, you know. Obviously, I don't have a problem with gay people because I just had lunch with you. I'm not gay. No? Really? I just assume. Well, come on. The cross-dressing thing, I think that makes you at least a little bit lesbian. 